What's up, High Levelers? Funnel Doc here. In today's video, I've got a great one for you. This is one of the biggest questions I see asked in the high level group all the time. How do I warm up my email list? How do I use a workflow so I can automate my email so that I can warm it up properly no matter what my size is? Well, if your email list is from zero to 80,000, that's right, up to 80,000, this video is for you because I'm going to show you how to create an automation inside workflows, allow you to dump your entire contact list in there, warm them up at the right interval, and be able to get your message out so that you don't have to worry about this problem anymore. So with that, let's go ahead and jump inside today's video. All right, so here we are inside of High Level, and if we jump into this workflow, it is a... Interesting workflow I set up, and uh, you'll see it will all make sense to you, and you'll be like, why never think about this? Because it will all make sense, but this is one way you can do it. So um, first thing here is this is not a triggered workflow. You're going to want to go to your contact list, and then you're going to want to highlight all your contacts, and then you're going to want to drop them into this workflow. Go to Add Automation. Then you're going to come in. You're going to select the workflow automation. And then you're going to want to drip in in batch mode. This is one of the keys of it. I'm going to show you everything else in a minute here. So you're, this would be like warm up would be the action. And then you just start it whenever you want. You know, just, I'm just going to randomly pick a day here and say time. Now your batch quantity is one. And you're going to repeat this every 60 seconds. That means if you had a list of 80,000, it would take you 22 hours for everybody to process this way. But this way, it drops them in the workflow one at a time, and this will allow each of them to individually trigger the workflow. If we drop them all in at one time, they all trigger the workflow simultaneously, and it won't work. Uh, and then the days and all this is up to you if you want to set it up. So all you would do is set up just like that. Hit add them into this workflow. Go and to boom, add automation. The workflow will start working. Then you're going to come in. You're going to select the entire list automation. So the and way the you're going to want to drip is, in. First of all, you're going to come in and you're going to add one to your custom value and update your contact field. Now you're going to need to create a email warm up. You can use whatever nomenclature you want for this. I just use email warm up and then email warm up number for the field. So the first thing, this is a math operation. And then the first thing you're going to do is select the value, not the field, the custom value. And this is your, think about it this way. You've got your overall system number, which is static. This, it, well, it changes, but this is the one thing that everybody wants that, that they'll pull all the information off. This starting at zero. So the first person's going to get assigned this. They're going to pull zero off. They're going to add one to it. And then it's going to update the contact field for that first person to go through. And they're going to be number one. Okay. So that's how they get assigned their number. The next thing you do is you come here and you have to update the custom value to equal the number that just went through, which in this case would be one if we were starting at zero. So now the custom value goes from zero to one. The person is assigned number one, and now they go through the flow. And then everybody, that's why you have the 60 seconds. So the next person would be two, and then they'd up custom, update the custom value from one to two, and the next one would be three, and et cetera, and it just goes through. And that's why you have that 60-second lag. The next thing you do is check what their number is. Super easy. So right now, if you go to this, and I'm going to have down in the description, there's the link to this. This is for the high-level uh, help portal. You'll see this is the recommended settings. Go through this entire article. It's amazing on everything you need to do need to know about warming up and getting your email into the inbox, but this is the important stuff as far as the workflow. And you'll see that every day you can have a spending limit. So your daily limit for your first day is a thousands, 2.5, 5, 5 6.5, et cetera, on up. And then you've got hourly limit. So you have to be able to know each of these. So that's why I did the next thing is you'll see here your daily limits a thousand. So what we're going to do is have our first 1,000 people out of the 10,000, 80,000, whatever it is that you dumped in here or whatever, are going to go here. And then we've got a drip sequence that's going to allow them to go out at 100 people per hour, which you see equates to right here. And that's basically the sequence. And then here's your first warm-up email. And that can be anything. Like, I recommend that you're giving away, like, Something that's going to get people to open, you know what I mean? You want engagement, especially when you're warming your list up. So I would try and give away something. Maybe there's a contest you're entering or something or something that's going to get them to open. Because when you're warming up your, your email, the, the more opens you get, the better it's going to be in the long run. So 
this series in, I just numbered them one, two, just so it'd be easier to track where they are. Um, they need to sort of go, relate to each other and realize that your entire list, if you had 88,000 people, I figured out it's like 22 hours at, at one second a person to take 88. So within a day, everybody's going to be in here. So you've got your first thousand. And if they're not a thousand or below, then they get dumped to the next column. They're going to wait 24 hours. So that hits this criteria here. They go to the next day. And if their number is between the next 2,500 people, because again, I don't know, I keep going to that. We're daily sending is 2,500. And then we drip it out at 300 an hour. Get this email. It happens again. Next thing we've got here for the next number is 5K. So we've got the 5K 600. Just go right here. Here's 5,000 getting through. They're getting 600 of them are going to email every hour and it'd be the same email and you just repeat it. Now, the reason why I had to stop it is because the drip sequence gets to a point that it only allows 10,000 per hour. So we go all the way up this sequence here to the very last one, this 12 right here, where it's 10,000 uh, 10, an hour at 80K. And that's so that's where we hit this bulk um, is right here at the very end where if your number is below the 80K here, you're going to get one of these. And that's a sequence. It's really not that uh, crazy or anything, but it did take a while. And you'll see that we built it all out. Uh, and I just want to give this to you. I hope it makes a lot of sense. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. This is something that I know a lot of people are excited about. I'm excited that I have it. Um, some of the new math operations and stuff are really what made it possible, the way that you can now pull in different stuff without having to do different tricks and stuff. But other than that, it's really straightforward. Again, um, happy, happy warming up your emails. Funnel Doc out. Peace.